not decide what to do tomorrow because we still do not know how the virus will play out. We do not know. Everybody is making their own guesses, but nobody... I am listening to all the scientific stuff that's going on in the world, what doctors are saying, politicians are saying, economists are saying, but the clear picture is this, we really do not know how things will be in another two months' time. Nobody knows for sure how it's going to play out. People are saying it's already mutated into ten different forms, whether it'll respond to the vaccine, how many ten vaccines for 7.6 billion people, when will you give that vaccine? These are not practical things, anything that's being spoken. So we have to wait. When we wait, the best thing to do is right now to upgrade ourselves. Upgrading ourselves means our physiological capabilities, physically we must become fitter. In the next one month, all of you Thai people set this up. The next one month, you must be at least ten percent fitter than what you are right now physically. Mentally, you must be ten percent sharper, I can give you tools for this. And emotionally, you must be at least ten percent more balanced. Energetically, you must be at least ten percent more effervescent. All these things will be most vital when you have to step out and face that new situation that we have still not figured. Let us not assume this will happen, that will happen, because we don't know what will happen. How many of us will be wiped out? How many of us will be here? How many businesses will be gone? How... what will be relevant, what will be not relevant? We have no clear picture, only guesswork is going on. So using our imagination, we are causing fear. Instead of that, this time around, let's invest it upon ourselves to make ourselves into more competent, more balanced and better human beings. That's the only way you can face an unknown situation.